In the early 20th century, baseball was the uncontested national pastime. The best big league ball players were transformed into larger than life heroes. And none stood taller than Greenville's shoeless Joe Jackson. Joseph Jefferson Jackson began working in Greenville's old Brandon Mill as a youngster. The drudgery and hard work of Joe's days in the Mill Village were broken only by the weekly game of baseball played on a dirt field near the mill. It was here on this diamond that the people of Greenville began to glimpse a special talent in young Joe Jackson. Legends grew from his deeds. His home runs were known as Saturday Specials. His line drives were called Blue Darters. And his glove was a place where triples went to die. Joe soon caught the eye of many a major league scout and gained a nickname as well. I was playing with the Greenville Spinners. One day I was breaking in a new pair of spikes. Next morning I had blisters so bad I couldn't even get my old spikes on. Well, we had a game that day in Anderson against the electricians, so I just played in my stocking feet. Nobody paid much notice till I hit a triple late in the game. When I pulled into third base, this fellow in the crowd yelled, you shoeless blankety blank. <laughs> well, somehow that ended up in the newspaper, and I guess it just kind of stuck. I was Shoeless Joe from that time on. Joe spent the next 12 years thrilling the fans of Major League Baseball as an outfielder with the Philadelphia A's, the Cleveland Indians, and the Chicago White Sox, winning a World Series championship along the way. They say I was the greatest natural hitter of all time. Well, that's saying a lot with hitters like Wagner, Cobb, and Ruth around. I had good eyes, and I guess that was the reason I hit as well as I did. Shoeless Joe's fall from grace came as a result of the most infamous sports scandal in American history, the fixing of the 1919 World Series. Joe got more hits in that series than any player on either team and committed no errors. He and seven of his teammates were tried and found innocent, but were nevertheless banished from big league ball forever. Shoeless Joe was a gifted, simple man who found himself caught in a tangled web of treachery. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Many years have come and gone, and America's love affair with baseball continues. Here in Greenville, the game has never been more popular. Ask Greenvillians about Shoeless Joe, and they'll tell you about an unlikely hero, a talented and generous man, a loving husband and a good friend a man who overcame steep challenges, a man who stared down his fears and accomplished far more than he ever imagined he would. I had a pretty full life in baseball, and I've been pretty lucky since I left the big leagues. I've got no ax to grind. I can say that my conscience is clear. 
God knows I gave my best at all times. No man on earth can judge me otherwise. <laughs>